Welcome to EWN on the couch where we catch up with your favorites both on and off the field. Uh, now I've been lucky enough to know this player from when he was playing at Varsity and now he's with the Vesson Province and a storm is set up and he's giving back to the community through his Be The Difference Foundation. Craig Barry, welcome to the couch. Thank you. Thank Tell me, how's me. it going? You look uh, happy, you look fresh. Yeah, looking after myself. <laughs> Good. Good. What, is, what does that entail? That's first of all looking after my body and eating right um, and uh, reading a lot of books. Um, and just refreshing myself every day. Oh, that's good. And that's helping with you inspiring the kids at the Be The Difference yeah. Foundation. So tell us about that. Be The Difference is a non-profitable organization. Um, this is our fifth year of existence. Oh. Um, and I'm heavily involved with the sport uh, side of, of Be The Difference. I'm the head of sport. And then I have a few guys that's, uh, that's also working along with me, ensuring that our program is successful on a day-to-day basis. So what does that program entail? So on a Monday and on a Wednesday, we have, we have the program running um, from a week-to-week -week basis. So on a Monday, we would have a conditioning session and also then a field session. And then on a Wednesday, we would do the exact same. Um, and now during the holiday, we have a holiday program as well. So for all the kids that's coming home or that is at home, um, we will have three sessions during the week and maybe add a, a fun session at the end of the week. And what type of kid would come to the be, or be part of the foundation? We mostly focus on kids that are underprivileged, um, that does not get the opportunities or exposure like you would get at Paul Ruas, Boisa, Paul Jum. Um, and also to give them conditioning exposure um, that, they, that they won't get at their schools because of just a lack of resources. So we step in or fall in um, um, that position for a lot of schools in our community, which is in Cryfontein, um, and then we also reach out to Ravensmead um, and Elsie's River, which is also in our regions. Can people actually come and scout these guys if they want to? Yes, definitely. So that's how, that's how we get introduced to them. So on a, on a Saturday when I'm not playing, or most of the guys that's not involved, that's also professional players that's not involved, um, we go watch games on a Saturday. So we'd go, we would select, okay, three schools that, we're gonna, that we identified and they said, listen, there might be potential and we would watch their games, work closely with their teachers, coaches, um, and obviously um, get more inf information about the player, like the environment that they live in is, is, is very important because a lot of these kids have single parents or don't have a parent at all, so the grandma raised them. Um, or, or close uh, family relatives raise them, um, which makes it a, a, a bit difficult for the kid growing up, um, not having that father figure or that mother figure in their lives. And sport helps with that? Definitely. Have um, you seen the effects of it? Yeah, as you know, like sport is, is, is closes so many gaps where there's pain um, and, and loss of, 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 of not having family members around them. Um, the boys always come the first two, first two weeks, they come to us, they're a bit shy, they don't know what to expect. Um, but once they're in our culture and in our setup, uh, they start expressing themselves. You start seeing guys um, just, just coming out of, them, out of their shelves uh, and just being themselves because it's a platform where they can be safe and just express who they are. I know I'm starstruck still when I see you know f f players or whatever like you look up to. What do these kids do when like a, a Damien Willemso walks into the Be The Difference gym or where you yeah. guys are based? What do they do? They're like. They're always excited, they always ask me, coach, can you have that guy, coach, can, can this guy oh, come? Oh really, so we've got requests. They have requests, yeah, for guys to come and, 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 and I must say, uh, a lot of my team, teammates, um, they're always available, um, they're always eager to come and, 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 you know, to inspire these kids um, and it just makes them, you know, wanted more because um, it's, it's, it's not untouchable to see these guys uh, that they see weekly on the TV. Um, and they can actually have a conversation with them. In terms of these kids, I just is there is there a story that has stood out for you that you've worked with and that you've a kid that has stood out um, just that inspired you the most? Can I almost say is, is the one that ignited all of this? If yeah, I can we we can we can sit the whole day. There's a number of stories that I can that, that yeah. I can tell you. Um, but a story that inspired me a lot is is these two guys. One is um, at at uh, at the Pucker, at currently is playing young guns at the moment. He comes from. Impoverished conditions, yeah. uh, lived at the back of someone's house, um, started getting involved with Be The Difference. He got opportunity to go to the SA Rugby Academy where he, he played there and then he applied his trade at the Pukkana now his second year playing at the Young Guns. Um, he's also studying. That, to me, that's, that's a story that we always want when we start with a, with a kid. Um, he didn't have aspirations to even study. Um, he didn't have aspirations to even play Varsity Cup. Um, now he's in, he's in alignment with becoming a Varsity Cup player, which is a massive success story for us, you know, um, and then there's another kid who's currently uh, um, at Belcom Gymnasium. Um, he was at Elsie's River High. Um, he lived in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a flat apartment with his parents. They are three kids um, with his mother and his father and a, and a small kid, so which makes them four in a two bedroom flat or apartment where they live. 
Um, also, he didn't come up with, with, with great, uh, he didn't, uh, he wasn't raised in a great environment, um, but still his parents tried everything in their power, um, got involved in our program. Now he said, welcome, come to him. We'll play Craven Week this year. Potentially we'll play SA Schools. Um, actually just met with him before I came here in great condition and just grateful for every opportunity that he gets. Craig, that's absolutely awesome. It's so cool that you're giving back. But a bit on a lighter note, we play a little game we call Just Be Honest. <laughs> So is it true if you weren't a rugby player, you'd be on The Voice South Africa? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Has your fiancé, Jenna, ever done a makeup tutorial on you? Yes. I want to see that <laughs> now. <laughs> Have you ever streaked across a rugby field? No, not at all. Not even at that, varsity? No, I don't have that confidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you and Dylan Laid share natural hair tips? Um, I, I would give him more advice. I wouldn't say sharing, but I would give him more advice on natural hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in your off time, do you watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians? Yeah, I'm forced to do that. Don't lie. Because um, there's only one TV. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I do watch it from time to time. <laughs> okay, at least you're being honest. That's yeah. good, Greg. Greg, thank you so much for joining us on the couch. Good luck with your foundation and good luck with your career. I know thank there you. are great things on the way. Um, it's been great having you on the couch. And I look forward to seeing you going to be in the next five years. Thank you very much, Katu. It was a pleasure. There we go. <laughs> Craig Barry, do follow him on social media to see where the Be The Difference will take him and the guys part of it and also where his rugby career will take him. Thanks for joining us on the couch.